And he looked inside and he's like, oh, wow, I'll take it. Atari 2600 in like 20 games that I just recently, that I just recently bought at, at Child World on clearance. Just handed it to him and said, here you go. Because um, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to go buy that. So I remember driving myself to that very same store, Child World, in West Springfield, Mass. I remember going inside there and asking about the Sega Master System that I just saw at my uh, now brother-in-law. Um, so I purchased it, hooked it up in my bedroom, and I was playing, you know, I was playing it way more than I was playing the Atari because it's something new and innovative. And it's the first, like, true system I've had since the Magnavox Odyssey 2. And, of course, I had the, the Atari 2600, which I barely played because I got it far too late. But now this is, like, the new thing. So now, so now I had my, you know, my girlfriend over a few times, and she says, oh, you got this now? And she's like, my brother got rid of it, and he got another one. So now the next, now I drop her off that night, and I go inside, and I, sure enough, I go in there, and he doesn't have anything. Um, so I'm like, well, your sister said you got, you know, you brought back the, the, the Sega Master System. I go, I just bought it. He goes, yeah, well, I returned it because I didn't want to wait, you know, the 30-day policy to return it. So I returned it because that other one's coming out. And I'm like, oh, so you returned it. And then that other one ain't out yet. What is the other one? What are you talking about? How can it be better than this? And he's like, well, it's a company called Nintendo. And um, it's just, it's, you know, I don't know if he was reading newsletters or magazine or something. or Because there was no internet, really. Um, or he saw it in the paper or catalog or something. So he said, oh, it's going to be better, I think. So, so I returned my... Say he goes, you can keep it if you want. And I'm like, well, shit. Now you're telling me that there's a, a new one coming out that's way better. And you even got rid of yours before it even came out. So I'm like, all right. So I held on to the master system a little longer. And I loved it. And sure enough, a few days later, I go there and he's got the Nintendo. And I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, yeah, this is the one I was telling you about. And, um... And I mean, as much as the Sega Master System was just as good as graphics and, you know, you came to find out that... Uh, so I held on to the Master System because the Nintendo might have been a little more expensive. And I had just bought the Sega Master System, so I think I was still enjoying it. So, so actually, I waited on it and I let, you know, and I checked out all the new stuff as it was coming out on his Nintendo... To see if potentially I was going to get it. And then sure enough. It became better. It had like I said. Better third party support. Had games like double. You know. Well Master System had games too. But uh, they had Mario. Duck Hunt. And you know. It had Excite Bike. And um, you know. It, it just had you know. Better games. And it looked like it was going to have a better future. So eventually. I don't know what I did. I must have either sold the Sega Master System or traded it in or or returned it. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But sure enough, I ended up with the Nintendo the, the Nintendo NES and um, and then pretty much it's history after that because then it became Genesis, Super Nintendo, Turbo. I never had a Turbo Graphs. I have one now, a Turbo Duo. But TurboGrafx was in that war with Genesis and Super Nintendo. And I remember when Child World had gone out of business, um, Toys R Us was booming and they had a whole display in the store with like in glass cases. They had all the, all the latest systems displayed like Genesis. Well, don't forget the... Um, Sega Master System was probably on the second model, so it was kind of like still hanging in. The Nintendo was like probably in its prime, 
the Genesis had just come out. Turbo Graph 16 and the Super Nintendo at one time, they were all competing. And then the Master System finally dropped out because the Genesis took over for Sega. But I remember Nintendo kept going. So, so Nintendo had the NES and the Super NES going. And the Turbo Graph 16 got released all at the same time they were competing. And the Turbo Graphs did remind me of the Odyssey 2 would have been back then when the Atari 2600 was out. So it was the underdog. But again, um, I don't know if it was price or or just because I liked my Nintendo so much, I never um, I never got the Turbo Graphs. But but my brother-in-law did because he was a bouncer. He you know he would like get anything that was out and then. Either get it, get the other one back if it wasn't. He he was like a returner, so so he would bounce back and forth, returning them, buying another. So he had the Turbo Graphs, and and I liked the little cards in it, but I never played it enough. Maybe I wasn't going over there as much as before. Um, but yeah, um, that's the story of the Odyssey Two. And why it was my first system and why it's my favorite system to this day. And why Pickaxe Pete is the one I played the most back then. I played the crap out of it. So that will always remain my number one game of all time. Um, I don't expect um, the new um, today's generation to appreciate it, but... Uh, but I'll always appreciate it. And um, currently, currently, um, like I said before, I don't care for much violence in video games. And I and I grew up in a time where video games were played for high score. And and I grew up in a time where games were simple. So don't hate me on that. Um, it's just, it is what it is. That's what I grew up on. So today. I have just about everything that I never had back then. And only because to me, it's still something that I was out at that time and I could have had it, but I didn't get the chance to afford it or to talk my mother into getting it or to have... Because back then, we didn't, you couldn't have three, two systems, three systems. That didn't happen until Genesis and, uh, and Super Nintendo where you might have had both of those. But... Now, I mean, now I have them all. I have the Vectrix. I have the... Um, now, these are all from, like, that era. The Bally Astrocade. Um, the Magnavox Odyssey, of course. Um, Intellivision, ColecoVision, Atari 2600, Atari 7800. Even the... Um, yeah, so... So, it is what it is, you know? And... Uh, and that's how it is. That's how it goes. So somebody requested that I make a video of a story um, of my childhood at, about video games. And that's probably my top story I can come up with. Um, that's how it was. I mean, I, was, I lived through the crash. I was here during the arcade era. I seen it all happen. Pac-Man was like the biggest thing. Donkey Kong. Uh, Space Invaders. Uh, one of my favorite games was Phoenix, both in the arcade and at home on the, on uh, on uh, on the Atari. But um, oh yeah, Defender, Asteroids, um, all them games, Frogger. But the two top ones was Donkey Kong and Pac Man and Space Invaders for the arcades. And then, you know, then the arcades obviously kept going for a while into the 90s. But, um, yeah, that's my story. I mean, I probably didn't say um, everything I wanted to. And I probably rambled on as usual. Probably repeated myself as usual. I probably, I, I tried talking a little faster tonight. So that's about it. Um... Uh, I hope all, all you had a good Halloween, a safe Halloween. And uh, I had my uh, Michael Myers Halloween shirt on today, my Castlevania hat to represent. And um, 
That's it. I'll, I'll talk to you another day. I'll make another episode on paperwork and stuff like that. And next time I'll have another story for you on this. When I saw this in the movie theaters in 1978. All right, peace out. Thanks for watching. Sub and um, like and subscribe. Thanks.